We broke it once, we can do it again. We just need a little luck, and here's a cat. We've got five spins to make $25. So far, we're perfectly on pace. And then we get the shiny pebble to start. You're 1.1 times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare. That's probably one of the better items I could find right now, because I kind of like the rare stuff. Then I'm going to take a seed, because that has a chance to grow into the very rare watermelon or rare strawberry. And for now, we're going to take the lockbox. It's going to give us one coin, but more importantly, it's going to be destroyed later and get out of my way, and it's worth 15 when it is. I want symbols now, but later on, I only want certain symbols. And this is only like the sixth time I've restarted, because things keep going wrong for me. But we're going to get it eventually. The rent is due. 25, we have 31. So now we've got five spins to make 50. Then I'm going to take the chemical seven because that destroys itself. It'll give me seven coins. And if I get three of those, I get 77 coins. But we're going to take a coconut half because it's uncommon. So it gives two coins every time it lands, which is going to be fairly often for now because I don't really have a lot of other symbols. Though if I put the monkey down, he will destroy coconut halves and then he'll give extra value out of those. So I'm going to take a monkey for now. Then I'm going to take a lucky capsule. It's going to destroy itself for no value. But then afterwards, one of the symbols will be rare and therefore probably good. We owe 50, we have 67. So far, so good. We now have six spins to make 100. There's another chemical seven, so we're absolutely going to take that. Then I think we're going to take the rain cloud. Rain gives plus one and are common instead of uncommon, so they'll be easier to find. And the monkey just devoured one of the coconuts, a geode broke. I don't know what else happened. We're going to get the monkey another coconut though. We're going to take coal because that's going to turn into a diamond. And the diamond stack, for every extra diamond we have on the board, they're going to give an extra gold. 16 there. Nothing here that I really want. We've got 93 coins. We've got two spins to make seven. So I think we're probably going to do it. There's another 16. The Hex of Tedium is a little bit tempting to add because it gives three. But then we're 1.2 times less likely to find the rare and very rare stuff. And I really want that stuff. It's the stuff where you really get the value. There's another 15. We owe 100. We have 122. This one, we've got a few that are tempting. The safe is tempting because that's going to give us 30 coins when it's destroyed, but the lucky capsule means we're getting at a rare symbol. That's a longer term benefit. Then we're going to take the time machine. Coal takes five less spins to transform. So this one is going to take far less to turn into a diamond, which we kind of desperately need at this point. Though look at that monkey go. There's a 44 spin. Okay, we've got a few good items to pick from here. We could get the diver who destroys adjacent these things. And then he permanently gives plus one coin for each symbol destroyed. So I feel like that could actually stack up pretty high. I hope I'm understanding this correctly because I'm going to go for the diver. But the rabbit fluff is tempting too because it just gives a better chance to find stuff and it's fairly valuable. So he's worth an extra one right now because of the one next to his head. Pretty sure that's how that works. Yes, it is. We could probably build this run off the diver. He takes sea creatures, pearls, whatever those are, fish, crabs, and turtles, the most delicious of all. So I'm going to take the void creature for now because if he's beside a blank symbol, that's going to give us money. Once he doesn't have a blank symbol, he destroys himself for money. There's still some blanks on the board, so he'll give us money either way. My diver just ate another something, so he's pretty happy. I've got one spin to make $15. I really hope I can make this work. Did I take a plum for now? I'm going to take a plum for now. I could probably get rid of it later. I just need to be sure to make, well, $16 now. Okay, we made it. We got 29 so we owe 150, we have 163. But now we need 225 in 7 spins, so this is going to start to get difficult. Uh, unless, of course, I find the chemical 7. That's definitely going to help. I think that's our 3 7s, by the way, so there's 103. There's an extra 30. Oh good, here's one of the turtles my uh, diver guy likes to eat. I can't wait to feed him, so he's making like 1,000 per spin. We're going to take a void stone on this one because it kind of works the same. If it's next to a blank symbol, it's going to give coins. If it's next to symbols, it destroys itself for value. So it's kind of a win-win. Oh, and he ate the turtle already. Great. Now he's giving five per spin. So we got three spins to make $25. I think we're going to do it, especially with the buffing capsule. That's going to give double the value to whatever's beside it. Oh, and a very rare golden arrow. That's a really good find because whatever it points to is going to give four times more. I'm absolutely taking that. I'm very happy I found it. We got our first diamond. And hopefully we start to get some real value. I need my spinny thing. Yeah, he pointed to the diver. So there's $20 just from the diver. We needed $225. We have $287. We're starting to pull ahead. Then we're going to take the lucky capsule. Destroys itself. But one of the symbols next turn will be rare. 
I guess if I had enough of those, that would really add up to some considerable value. But there's a 30 spin. Do I want a bartender? I think we need a bartender right now. He has three coins, plus is a 5% chance of giving beer, wine, or martini. He's going to clutter up the reels, but I need the money right now. And my stupid thing pointed off the board, but we still got $30. Not taking any of this trash. Only want the symbols that are very relevant to what I'm going for here. We're going to take the item capsule because it destroys itself and gives us a common item. And I'll take a common item that pointed towards a diamond. So that was worth 52 on that spin. So we've got three spins to make $76. We're not in as good a shape as I would have liked, but I think we're going to be okay with this. Here's 31. Tempting to take the hustling capsule. That's going to lose $6, but it's going to add another pool ball, which just gives us $1 every turn. After six turns, it's paid for itself and it's in profit. Actually, we're going to take that. We'd be stupid not to, really. It's going to cost us a little bit of money for a minute, but we can afford to lose a little bit of money. There's another 30. These be a lot of money, as that thing points towards absolutely nothing. Outstanding. Well, we did it. We've got a few dollars to spare, but I don't like my buffer zone. We're going to have to find some better symbols. This is kind of interesting. King Midas. He only gives one, but he adds a coin each spin. Adjacent coins give three times the value. So is that saying he keeps adding gold to the reels and as the gold stacks it's worth more? Because that could be interesting. But King Midas is going to have to wait. I'm going to take another diver because he's going to eat more seafood if we ever find any more. And then we're going to take the white pepper because basically one in three spins it's going to give us an extra three coins and that's just easy money. Really need my little spinny wheel to start pointing to things again. I'm going to take a safe right now and eventually we'll get a key to open that but I need to start making some more money. And again we point it off the board. Oh good a crab. Finally another sea creature for my idiots to eat. If they ever want to touch each other though. We got 12 out of that guy so there's a 50 spin and we need that because we've got five spins to make $220. Which can be done provided my spinny arrow points in the right direction, which it often doesn't. Don't want any of these boring symbols. Come on, multiplier. Well, we got the plum for eight, so there's 41. That's actually not too bad. We're going to take the item capsule that's going to destroy itself and give us an item. That's going to spin, do the kitty cat and the heart. $43. We've got two spins to make $80. We need to make about $40 a spin. I hope the oyster goes along with my diver and then the spinny thing points to the diver and we'll see how this goes. That's not bad. Did we do it? Oh, we actually did it. We needed 325. We had 332, but we're kind of losing steam. So let's do something really stupid and add King Midas to the board. And a turtle for my idiots to eat. I just need more of this seafood for them. There you go. He ate a crab. That coin's going to be worth quite a bit more because of a double multiplier on it. The whole spin is worth 50. Things are kind of looking up. We're going to take coal for another diamond. And there we go. That's not a bad little run down there. Another 47. We might have a chance. But we have five spins to make a little less than $250. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to take the chemical seven because that can give us another 70 whatever. If it ever pans out that way. This one guy's given us seven per spin now already. Then we're going to take the hustling capsule. Minus six. But it's going to eventually profit us. How much were these worth? Three each because they're adjacent. Interesting. Here's a watermelon that's very rare. I'm going to take that just because it's worth four. And if I ever hit my multiplier on it, that's going to get pretty valuable for me. The diver's giving eight per spin. I need to make almost $100 in two spins, so I'm going to take a bronze arrow. That way, whatever it's pointing to gives a two times multiplier. Combined with my gold arrow, that could be an eight times multiplier total. But they don't really point towards each other. There's $32. One spin, we've got to make $56. Can it be done? It can be if we're very lucky, but we didn't get any of our multipliers on the board. So we're short by $9. Okay, I've been restarting again and again to hopefully find a run that I like, and I think I might have, because we found the moon. Adjacent owls, bunnies, and wolves give three times more value. Thus, I had this cool symbol that was carrying me forward so far, where blanks give one gold. So all the blanks I had were actually giving me money. But then I also found this. Sun and moon affects non-adjacent symbols as well. So this moon would be affecting uh, owls, rabbits, and wolves no matter where they were on the board. So that's going to actually add up to a lot of extra value for me. There's a 41. And we're at the point where we need 225 gold in 5 spins. We have 100 currently. But our spins have been fairly valuable so far. So I'm going to add a rabbit for now because we're going to get double value out of that. If I find more ways to boost the rabbit, I will. But that rabbit gave us three as it was, so that's not bad. And I kind of forgot about the Beastmaster. So if he's next to things like the wolves, he's also going to give a two times bonus. So we're starting to stack some of those bonuses that I like. We just need to be lucky with what we're getting. So that wolf, for example, is going to get a pretty big boost. He's worth 12 all by himself. 
then I'm not going to take any of this garbage. I'm way too classy for that. And even still, with our board not being full, we're still making lots of money and I can very selectively choose what to put in there, like another wolf. The bronze arrow would be cool, but I'm kind of over the bronze arrow right now. That spin is worth 39, so we need 225. We have 291. We just gotta hope to get lucky for more good symbols. We're gonna add a bronze arrow for now. Next is a rusty gear. If three or more of the same symbol are not adjacent and not blank, they give two times value. So in the case of the wolves and stuff, we could actually start to get some real multipliers going. Or the dice even. But this wolf for now was worth six. We get a 36 for the spin. That's good enough for me. Item capsule destroys itself, adds an item. And I'm going to add whatever this is for now. Uh, I don't know her name, but she's basically going to give us double value and she's a pretty valuable resource in herself. She just boosted the value of the pearl, I believe it was. It wasn't a huge amount, but it was something. Not taking any of these, we have four spins to make 100, so we need to average 25 per spin or thereabouts. And I think we'll probably do it because this one was 36. Now we'll simply take a wealthy capsule that's going to destroy itself for 10 free dollars. What's not to like? And my moon is working hard. We need more moons. That's what I just realized. Moons are all we want. Moons and Beastmasters, but moons especially, because right now any moons we're going to get are going to multiply things in a big, big way. Anyways, this spin is worth $52 by itself. So we need 275. We have 351. We're actually pulling away again. So I'm going to give another dame adjacent whatever they're going to give two times value because she's going to add a lot. There's definitely a few good symbols here. We're going to take the birdhouse though because things like the owl give one coin more and we boost things like the owl right now. So the more the base value is, the more boost we're going to get out of them. That spin was worth 42, not taking any of these because gooses are stupid. It's starting to take a long time to calculate the value and that's a good thing. I'm going to take the chemical 7 because... Yep, it's going to give us 7 when it's destroyed. We stack up 3 of those. That's an easy $77. And I like $77. Oh, we're also going to destroy that for a pearl. But she's also boosting a lot of things. We have a lot of things in general being boosted. Another $51. Mostly because of all the boosts going on right now. There's another 50 as much as I want more shiny pebbles, they're just not worth their value anymore, especially because we're not really finding a lot of rare stuff. At least not yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. This wolf might be worth quite a few. There's 12 all by himself. At some point, I might get something that's going to start to eat up some of these symbols that I don't like as much, but I don't know what that's going to be or when. Anyways, we've got two spins to make $325. We already have 360 so we're just pulling further and further ahead right now. And we really need to be doing that. I'm going to take a coal for now because it's going to turn into a diamond. It's going to leave a dead spot on the reel. But we've got two people so far that could potentially boost a diamond plus a two times. So we can actually get a lot of value out of a single diamond. Potentially. What I want more than anything right now though is another moon. Robin Hood here is interesting. He gives minus four. But every four spins he gives 29. So he has a profit of 13 every four spins. Well, both the wanted poster and the lucky cat would be very good for me. The lucky cat simply gives a 1.3 times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare. And I thought I had a thief somewhere in the mix for this, but I don't. So I'm taking a lucky cat. That's an easy choice. Hopefully we get more very symbols and therefore more money. Lots more money. But look at everything add up. Look at all that value. There's another 49. Plus a chemical 7, so a few more of those, and we'll get our $77, which is going to put us further ahead. That was a weaker spin. And then we don't need any of those. Spin again, hopefully for 50 plus per spin. That's what my goal is now. 50 plus per spin. There's 43. Sometimes I feel like the games can hear me. But we've got 5 spins to make $114, so we're definitely going to do that, but I want to be further ahead than we are right now. A safe would be tempting because it gives 31 to strike, but I don't have any keys, and I don't want to add any keys right now because they're probably not worth their value. They take up too much space. For now, I want wolves. Wolves and moons. I'm going to take one more coal for now because it is a dead spot on the reels, but it is going to give me a diamond eventually. Eventually being the keyword here. It's a good investment and I think I'll survive for 20 more spins. There's another 36. Not a great spin. But we're 50 ahead right now. I was hoping to be more. I think we maybe added a few symbols that diluted my boosting. But whatever the case, we're still going to be okay. Because there's another 53. So we're still 100 up. Though we've got 9 spins to make $400. So if we average 50 per spin, we're going to do it. But if we don't get 50 per spin, we're not going to do it. We're going to take a chemical 7. Then I think I'm going to take the purple pepper. It gives 5 coins if 3 or more of the same symbol are adjacent. That might start happening, especially with the shiny pebbles at some point. And considering actually things don't have to be adjacent to be adjacent because of my uh, one item, 
That might actually stack very nicely. There's a rare strawberry we're going to take because that's just $3. That is going to take up a spot on the board, but I'm not that worried about it right now. Definitely not taking any of that crap. Need good symbols or better right now. And also need to be averaging 50 per spin. So if we could start making that actually happen, that would make me feel better. We've got six spins to make $200. When I say it like that, it doesn't sound so bad. I must have missed a high spin somewhere there. I don't always pay attention to how much we're making. 62, that's a big one. Okay, so do I want to add one of these guys in? They can give some boosts, but they do take up a spot themselves. I don't actually think it's worth it. I might come to regret this decision, but... I think I want none of the above. Buffing Capsule, one of my favorites, destroys itself. Everything around it is worth two times more. So in the case of, say, this wolf, he's going to be pretty valuable. There's 12 for both of the wolves. And then we'll take a Void Stone. He's going to give 8 because he's going to destroy himself as instantly as he appears. Then we get an extra 1 for the blank space. See, it all works out. $42. So we got 2 spins to make $2. I really hope we get back to back like 60 spins because I kind of need them at this point. I also need someone to maybe eat some of these less than worthy symbols. Nothing going on there. Let's spin again. And I need this to turn into a diamond. This coal is kind of killing me. There's another 55. So we're still up by 100. With a few lucky symbols, we can really take off. For now, we are going to take a spirit just because it's worth 4. If I had more of these symbols, I would absolutely add a joker because those all together would be really cool. But the reason I want the uh, spirit is because it will destroy itself after 4 spins. Do I want another coal right now? It is going to turn into a diamond in 20 spins. Is that greedy? It's probably greedy, but we're greedy. This one's done in 9 spins. Probably should have checked on that one before doing this, but we get double value out of my flames, so... Thought that was going to be worth more. We might have, uh, diluted our reels a little bit too much. But we'll see soon. We're still making pretty good money every spin. That was 41 after all. Six spins to make $335, so... We need to make over 50 on average from here on out. Having two coals here, I did realize we had this much coal on the board. There's three coals. Those are three blank spots on the reel. I really need to start paying more attention to my symbols on the board because that actually probably ruined this run. But there is another wolf and if we could add more wolves, wolves are just easy money because they get big time multipliers of many things potentially. But yeah, we added too much stuff that doesn't benefit the wolves. When everything lands properly, it's great. Like that was a 67 spin, but now I have to make 100 and Seventy dollars and two spins. That's probably not going to happen, and that's very disappointing. Thanks to the stupid coal, because I was too stupid to pay attention. But the wolves are nice and valuable. There's fifty-five, one of the better spins we've had in a while. One hundred nine dollars and one spin. We can do it. I really should have just not diversified away from the wolves, because the wolves are really where the value was going to be. I put too much coal on the board. Once again, I've restarted and restarted and restarted until I found something interesting. Red suits. Diamonds and hearts give two times more coins, because I've actually been stacking a lot of these because these, as long as they're adjacent, give extra money. And I also have a well-fed diver. So for every spin right now, we're doing pretty well, and he just ate another something or other, so that gives us 44 for this spin. So I think he's giving us 10 per spin, and all these other things are giving a lot of extras as long as they're close to each other. And since we don't have a lot of symbol, they're obviously giving off a lot of bonuses. So this one definitely has potential to get pretty expensive. Like, I'm not even going to take the rare farmer because he's not going to do anything for my symbols. He's just going to take up valuable space. But we're averaging like 40 per spin already, so that's a good sign. We want a club or an oyster? We'll take clubs for now because that's going to add to more value. So we get 275 due in one spin. We have 312. We're going to take a luck capsule to get something hopefully rare and very valuable. Destroyed another idiot there. We're up to 55. So we're a full 100 ahead. We're going to pay for that and hopefully get a very good item. The witch would be good if we're stacking other symbols. The beehive would be good if we had flowers. So buffing capsule it is. Then we're just going to take a horseshoe because that's just going to give us a free two coins every single spin. We put one away into the piggy bank every turn so that actually negates that plus gives us a little. Spins like this are probably good because yeah that diamond alone gave us 10. And it's just a basic diamond. So as long as I keep stacking these basic suits, I think we're going to be okay for quite a while, but I need to find more of them. It's crazy I've made it this far, actually, considering how many blank spaces I even have on the reels. We have four spins to make $50. I think we'll be all right, but I do need to start filling these out or I'm going to lose fairly quickly. Here's a pearl for our diver, though. He's going to eat that before too long. In fact, he's already got it. So he now gives us, I think, 11. Yep. So we're already 100 ahead and we've got a spare spin to go still. 
So, so far we're doing pretty good. Unfortunately, none of these are very good. Hopefully the item will be better. Well, the lucky cat I really like because it simply just adds luck. And the more rare symbols we can find, the better off we're going to be. But our spins are still averaging about 50 per spin right now, which is certainly very good. I'm not finding a ton of usable suits. We're still okay because we're already basically where we need to be with three extra spins. But again, that's going to start to catch up to us fairly quickly. But it's pretty consistent. I really want that diver to get higher and then I want to find a way to multiply that diver. But we're just going to have to wait and see what we get. We still have five empty spots, six empty spots on our reels, and we're still making it work. We're 125 ahead. Unless we got a piggy bank, we could smash open at some point if we get stuck. Beastmaster normally would be something I would go for, but we're not going to. If we take an anthropology degree, that means our diver is going to give us an extra coin, so that's just easy money. Not that he needs any help, he's currently giving us 12. And a buffing capsule went off up here, not adding a great deal of value, though we did make 71 on that. A five-sided die is interesting, so is a bronze arrow. Let's take the bronze arrow to start adding a multiplier, because if it happens to point to that diver at any point along the way, that's going to be a big difference. It hasn't yet pointed to the diver, but that hasn't really seemed to make a big difference, because we're still getting between 40 and 60 per spin. Oh, actually, here's a heart. We do need more of these. I wonder if I've been looking past those the whole time. That's kind of concerning. That heart alone gave us 12. And here's the clubs. So this is going to start to work out very good because they basically can't help but touch anymore. That one gave us 12. Uh, yeah, we're going to do all right with this. We're already 74 ahead and we've got one spin left. And we have three empty spaces on the reel still. That's ridiculous. And then I'm definitely going to take the spear. It's going to give me four coins and eventually destroy itself. Then we're going to take the lockpick to potentially open whatever crap we happen to find. So we finished that round. We needed 550. We got 635. We're still making progress. There's a silver arrow that I'm definitely going to add because whatever it points to, three times the value. Here's another diamond. It's only worth one by itself, but with everything that's going to stack. Oh, there's a triple diver. That's worth 36. That was a 91 spin. And another triple diver for another 105. Now we're starting to pull away again. So everything stacking up should start to be pretty valuable depending on where it's situated. Is it weird that I just got a diamond spawning, but I'm taking the spades instead? No, it's not, because they all multiply into huge value. This diamond right here is probably going to be worth 24. And here's another one. Finally, we're getting lucky with all the suits. It just took us till we were way deep in the game to actually do this. That was worth 24, that was worth 10. We have a big cluster in the middle. We had no multipliers hit it, though. 650, we have 889, so we're getting further and further ahead. The swapping device is nice, though. You may swap position of two symbols once per spin. So basically, I can make sure things are going to be adjacent to other things. Too bad I can't switch things after the multipliers roll, but I don't have that kind of power. Okay, we had a few spins and we found something very cool. A very rare wild card. Gives money equal to the highest value among adjacent symbols. Well, that could be adjacent to many things, considering we're allowed to move it. So if I put this up here, it's going to match whatever the highest thing nearby is times two. So it's worth 24 by itself. And we're back over $1,000. In fact, we have $1,200. And that number seems to keep going up. Because we're averaging about $100 per spin, we owe $777. We have $1,286. That's the end of the regular game. But we're going to keep playing just a little bit. How is this for an awesome item? Golden Carrot. Very rare. You're five times more likely to find uncommon, rare, and very rare. Rabbits give five times more coins. This is what I need to find from the very beginning. Also, when I don't know where to place a wild card, I can just put it next to my diver, and that's actually going to give huge value like that. 36, he's giving 108 by himself. Oh, and uh, more diamonds. Finish the next round, event free. We have 1,752, only needed 1,000. Then I'm going to add a treasure chest. That's going to give us 50 coins when destroyed, and that shouldn't take long. Okay, this next round ended a little closer. We needed $1,500. We have 1,600. So that Joker guy would be nice right about now, because he would add a lot of value to what I have. But since we didn't get any of that, I guess we're just going to take, I guess, the lunchbox, just to see what we're going to get. I don't want any of these symbols, no matter what they are. I do have a lot of stacking symbols right now, though. So we are making quite a bit per spin, but we're going to start to lose pretty soon. There's 160. I was also pretty lazy that last round with placing symbols where they should be. Uh, because placing them right can make a big, big difference to the value of things. There's 214 for that spin. Okay, so despite my best efforts, the rent has gone all the way up to $2,000. I have 1320 
I don't think we're going to make it, so let's just enjoy our last few spins. The best way to make as much money as possible here is just to group these things up basically as much as we can. So if we put that there, that's probably going to be the best result. Still going to be a pretty good spin at $129, but not enough. So we needed a miracle. We did not get one. We're just going to throw that one up there, and that's probably going to have to be good enough for us. There's another $108. We're up to 1763 out of 2000 But we still made it way far into the game. $2,000 rent, pretty good. 